my name is Julian Garrity, and I'm happy to be able to give you a peek into the world of the crew, a title that seeks to redefine what driving games mean for their new generation. Developed by Ivory Tower, a team of industry veterans who've won several awards for their driving games across the years. Now we're going to jump into a live demo of the game where we'll follow four players in four different regions of the USA. Then they'll unite in Miami, forming a crew, customizing their vehicles, and performing a takedown mission. Our first stop is in Brooklyn, New York, where we join our first player, Steve, who is about to kick off an illegal street race over the bridge. He's driving a street tune car, perfect for challenging the competition and crushing street races. Street race spotted. Vehicles heading northbound on the Brooklyn. Copy, car nine. Available units in Manhattan South, clear and investigate. Dispatch, car seven, three. Copy, I'm on that. Car seven, update on those racers. And while we leave Steve to finish up his race and escape the police, we can join the second player, Fergus, in Black Hills National Park. He's driving a specially customized F-150 that will allow him to find every single skill challenge and collectible. There are a thousand skill challenges peppered across the world. And you see those mountains in the distance? You can drive to them and climb them. The whole world is a playground for you and your friends. We'll now jump to Sly, who's driving around the desert roads and trails outside of Las Vegas. And what he's going to do is really unique. He's going to launch a skill that requires him to beat a ghost, one of the ways we feature asynchronous challenges. But get this. He's driving a high-speed perf car that needs to stay on the road to really perform versus the ghost of his friend, a dirt car that is built for going across rocky terrain. You can see Las Vegas down the hill. We could drive all the way down there and drag race the strip. But what we're going to do is join Paul in the streets of Miami, our final stop. Paul has formed a crew with Steve and Fergus, and he's going to ask Sly to join as well. Sly accepts and fast travels to Miami. This crew is forming together here because there's a mission that Paul's been trying by himself for a while, but just hasn't cracked. He's decided to call in his friends to be able to achieve it. Note that there is no lobby, no separation of the online multiplayer and the single player experience. This living world full of potential rivals and friends and shared fun is our conception of next gen. Now our customization system is something that we're really proud of, allowing players to tailor their car to exactly the type of performance that every race, challenge or mission requires. And yes, you can strip the whole of the body away choose individual performance parts from the engine to the rims and build the vehicle back up. Now that the crew is ready, they're going to launch a cooperative mission, a takedown of a rival faction driver that will take our four players across busy city roads, through backyards, across grassy parkland and over beach dunes. The city of Miami is truly their driving playground. Here's our target, a heavily armored Hummer. Paul and his friends now give chase, racing against the clock in an attempt to shut the Hummer down. One feature that we're really proud of is the fact that we are, in the truest sense, an open world driving game. Players not restricted to driving on roads. As our target decides to go off-road, smashing through objects, the players are free to chase it. Officers in South Beach, be advised, we're receiving reports of multiple vehicles driving erratically in that area. 
As you can see, we have a huge variety of terrain types that players are free to drive across. These terrain types work in unison with the game's extensive car classes. Here, the raid-style cars are perfectly suited to the mission, driving off-road with ease and featuring a reinforced chassis, allowing them to sustain and inflict more damage. Our target has been hit a few times now and is taking desperate measures, driving across the beach with bystanders running for cover. Paul can see his friends ahead of him, swarming all over the back of the target. Players are rewarded individually for missions based on their performance, so everyone wants to be the guy who delivers the final blow. On this occasion, it's Paul and his raid-tuned Camaro 1969 who gets the glory. So in playing the mission together, Paul's friends have helped him complete this tricky mission and make progress through the game. In return, all of the players earn a score for the mission, which is then converted into cash and XP. Cash can then be used to buy cars, performance and cosmetic parts, and tune them. And as the players celebrate the completion of another mission, we see the arrival of a new threat in the form of a rival crew. The core of this game is collaborating and competing, and it's now up to the crew of four friends to work together to see off this new challenge. This concludes our first look at the crew. Thank you for watching.